What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jeff Bailey. I'm going to jump right into a recent purchase that I made. I've not purchased a Great Eastern Knife in quite a while, at least not one where I've had time to do a video. And so today I wanted to look at the new uh, Great Eastern 65 series that just came out. I got mine with a tortoise shell acrylic and uh, it's the Fish Keeper. Um, you guys might have seen some of my boat videos. I've always been an, uh, a long time angler. In fact, I've got, got the tattoo here to, to, to go with it. So was was really excited to uh, um, see, see a fishing themed knife come out from Great Eastern Cutlery. Um, it's a cool knife and I wanted to jump in and, to, and, and a really stand up thing here is the stainless steel, obviously with the, with the implied use in and around the water. This is a huge thing, and Great Eastern doesn't seem to put out as uh, nearly as many stainless steel options as they do the carbon options. So I thought this one just kind of stood out for a lot of those reasons. At any rate, I've already got out of the tube, so we'll just jump right into it. So acrylic is obviously a long time um, traditional material, and I mean, tortoise shell especially. You know, I've got several older knives. Um, they didn't always use acrylic, they, they used other materials. Um, uh, some of those materials were prone to, to degradation over time. Uh, some of them outgassed badly. I think acrylic's supposed to be a lot more stable. Um, but it's really nicely finished. Uh, acrylic is relatively soft, right, compared to some of the, the, uh, the bone and wood uh, materials that they use. So to get a good, you know, finish on this is, is pretty impressive. You know, if I'm, if I was, Super duper duper nitpicky. There are some spots here on this on the spine uh, where the acrylic is. It's a little rougher. It's not quite polished as smooth there, but they couldn't polish that out without getting more of a mirror pol mirror polish on the um, the springs. So that's probably why they didn't do that. But really, overall, uh, very happy with it. Um, has what appears to me to be nickel bolsters. Um, I could be wrong there. Well, I don't know. That's kind of steel colored, isn't it? The reason I went with nickel as the, as the original presumption was because as you can see, um, only drawback to the one I got here was it's got some scuffs on it already on, on both kind of sides. This is probably just where it was riding in the tube. Got my new from authorized dealer. Um, and usually in my experience, the stuff that tends to be softer and scrapes more easily is nickel. Um, but nickel usually has a little bit of a different color tone to it than the steel, so I'm not sure uh, what they use for these bolsters on this one. It's got a shield I've not seen before from Great Eastern. It's got a little GEC fish uh, shield here, very cool. Goes well with the theme. Um, lanyard hole, of course. And this model they released with a little um, aluminum, it feels like, you know, whistle. Uh, I mean, cheap little whistle, a little plastic insert, but... Uh, my only guess here is this is the idea is this could be used on a boat. Um, when you're on the water, you're supposed to have an audible sort of signaling device. It can be an air horn or it can be a whistle. So maybe that's what their thought process was here, including the whistle on the fish keeper. I probably will take this off because it's kind of big and jangly, and it's already a pretty you know, good sized knife, right? So I could see putting a lanyard or something on here instead. Um, maybe I could find like a fish bead or something that would go with a little shield. That could be cool. All right, so anyway, let's check the blade out. It's a big knife, um, long knife, a, not necessarily a, uh, a big around knife. You can see the fish keeper etching here. Uh, while we're at it here, let's get some, uh, some measurements. We're looking at about three and a third inches. A little bit more. Uh, that is about 87 millimeters, 86 and a half. A uh, length of the knife overall, I believe, is about four and a half inches. Let's see. On the calipers, we're about 115. Yeah, a little over four and a half for the knife overall. Um, but as far as thickness goes, relatively thin in the pocket, even with the two blades here. You know, a little over half an inch, 14 millimeters. So it's not too bad. Um, 
a little thicker because of the extra blade. And we'll, we'll get to that first. But this this blade is a nice long um, tapering, you know, swedge here, clip point blade. Um, pretty classic. I mean, it suits the knife, right? The long handle fits easily easily in the full grip of the hand. Um, could be a good uh, fish cleaning knife. Usually fillet knives have more of a bend to them, and you know this is still a good, a good, you know, knife stock thickness here. Um, two and a half millimeters. Yeah, I don't know what that come out to in inches. I don't see these measured in inches quite nearly as often, but 0.09. So it's a good, it's a good thickness steel here. So it's not going to have the flex in it that you would normally have with a fillet knife. Um, but long, thin knife still could be good for, for, for general cleaning, uh, cutting bait, that kind of thing. Um, I like the satin finish that we have there. And unlike a lot of the etchings that tend to go once you actually use the, um, once you actually use them on the carbon steel knives, this one should hang around, I'm thinking, because the, the it's not gonna etch in the same way. Got the SS um, Tang stamp here for stainless steel. And I believe it's just kind of their typical Great Eastern Cutlery, Ticeville, Pennsylvania. And then we have, on this model, the fish scaler. There's probably a variety of uses here. Usually I see this kind of tool. There's a model number there, 2022. Nothing on this side. Um, usually this tool, this is kind of like a, a, a hook remover usually you know something where if you've got a fish and you're trying to get down and push a hook maybe backwards you know out of out of the back of the throat of the gills um could be that it could be a little multi-purpose you know prodding prying tool i suppose you know this this is pretty you know this has more flex to it um i don't know if this is made out of the same steel stock as the, as the knife but it seems uh, relatively stable and sturdy and then this here is just a rough, it's not an edge. Uh, it's, you know, I can do this. I'm not gonna cut myself. It's a coarse thing here. And this is just a fish scaler. If nobody's cleaned fish before, that's a big part of it, a messy part of it. And you're just looking to sort of have that rough, coarse uh, surface to go along the, the fish and, and, and scrape away those, those scales and dislodge them. And then I guess this down here is just your, you know, cap lifter. Um, I'm not aware of there being a a fish cleaning thing here, but hey, if you're on the water and you're fishing, you're probably uh, gonna have a bottle or two with you. So overall, a cool little package, something I would definitely put in my pocket, you know, when I'm on the boat or when I'm fishing. Um, really, really like this overall. I had to look up the um, the history on the the the, the name, uh, you know, this 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 line of knife. Uh, the 65 carries the the Ben Hogan name. I had to look that up. I guess that, you know, long story short, there is a, a historical, um, you know, lawbreaker turned to, you know, a uh, man of the church <laughs> uh, of some fame in Warren County, Pennsylvania, which of course is, um, is the area of Pennsylvania where uh, Great Eastern Cutlery hails from. You can Google Ben Hogan, 1865, and find some, um, interesting lore and backstory there if you're interested. This particular model, I think, is themed less on that kind of, you know, gambler knife as it was introduced in their original run of these in 2011. Um, this one, you know, there's no there's no branding around, uh, around ben, ben Hogan here. I don't know if he fished or not, but anyway. Really cool knife. Um, this, this model, the 65, has come out um, in... Uh, 2011, 2012, 15, and now 22. So might be quite a while before we see them again. I think there might be still some out there on the market if you want to find them. They're available in uh, uh, a, a white bone finish, this finish. There's a Northfield model in a, um, in a um, textured bone as well as a um, Osage orange uh, model on the Tidiud line. So lots of options out there. I had to go with the fish keeper. Let me know what you guys think. Hope you have a great day. See you next time.